Hi, we're at, here at uh, APCO 2015 and I'm uh, going to give you a demonstration of the ACOM Novus uh, system. It is the uh, next generation of our ACOM platform um, and we've moved basically the, the system from previously being a, uh, an embedded card platform onto a, a server-based software platform um, that is fully IP. Uh, the system is made up of a number of components. The, the first part is the servers themselves. They run a couple of functions on there, which one being the media controller function, and the other one is the uh, infrastructure gateway function. The media controller function controls all of the core handling and all audio routing um, within the system. The infrastructure gateway service is our service that interfaces through to things like uh, P25, uh, Tetra and DMR trunked radio networks. Uh, also connected into the system is radio gateways themselves. So we have uh, two port radio gateways that hand, hand off onto Dana radios. Those Dana radios can be hooked into systems such as SmartNet Smart Zone and EDAX or conventional uh, UHF VHF um, radio networks. Uh, the other component is obviously the console itself. The console uh, runs off similar hardware and software platform to what our previous ACOM system does. Um, we have all the peripherals at, at the actual console desk or you can run the console, full console on as basically a tablet, mobile, mobile performance. Uh, the, the tablet itself uh, is a full console. So the only thing different between the console we have here and the console that is running on the tablet is basically the audio peripheral side of things. Um, so we, the, 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 the mobile solution doesn't restrict you to only a couple of circuits, you have full access to everything. Uh, some of the things which are I guess unique from an ACOM platform perspective is all of our console connections are unicast into, into the, uh, the servers that we connect up. Um, we don't don't use any multicasting, so which means makes for a system that we can actually put it, uh, a lot of our consoles at remote sites and have those come back without having to put in any conversion capability to, to convert from multicast to unicast. Console to log into the consoles, we usually use pro profiles. So there's a number of profiles that you can set up, and each of those profiles can have different screens. So when you log into the system, the appropriate uh, screen will come up on uh, up on the console itself. For your um, for use, um, so what, one of the things that we do have for for Acom is the ability to log in through those profiles and maybe log into uh, different systems. So you may have a system that's sitting independently as a disaster recovery, one which is a main site, um, and if your main site was unavailable, you could have your operator sitting still sitting in the same location on the control floor and have them log into your disaster recovery just through their login process. Uh, so we've got, uh, one of the things that the, the system has is, uh, on the console screens is call stacks. And the call stacks tie into uh, a call management capability in the system. The call management capability is system wide. So if, if, if another operator answers a call that I'm also seeing, I will actually see that come through. When I log into the system, the history of calls will actually show up in the system as well. Um, that way I am seeing a view of all the calls that are available in the system, not just the ones that are available after I logged in. Um, we can introduce things like standard operating procedures. So one of the, the good things about the system is that we can also embed hyperlinks into those standard operating procedures so that when an operator is working through those, they can click that, that hyperlink and that hyperlink will select the circuit and dial out a number automatically for them without them having to go and manually do that. Uh, intercoms. So at the moment we have a, a, a grid based uh, a visual on, on, on intercoms. So intercoms are the console to console uh, capabilities of making calls. Um, we could actually overlay this on top of a, a floor plan of a dispatch center and actually put these buttons sitting next to the, the uh, console position that, that's related to. And when a user logs on, the, uh, the button becomes active and it will show what they've actually logged in at. So it'll actually show, we can actually set, set it up to show the alias of the person logged in. So you get a visual of um, presence of who the operators are that, that have logged in and where they've logged into. The system has a, a, also has a capability, uh, a fairly extensive capability with telephony. Um, 
So that is a very strong feature of the ACOM platform. It allows us to do things like automatic call distribution, um, IVR, which is interactive voice recording, and, and uh, RVA, recorded voice announcements. Um, we also have a capability within the system to, to set up uh, broadcast announcements where we can send, uh, we, at the console you can do text to speech. So we, we record those and allow them to go out uh, as broadcast. We, we did that for our Coast Guard um, capabilities so they can have transmissions going out on the radio and they could, they could pre-record those. Um, the call stacks capability as well, um, I didn't really go into that before, but the, the capability there is, is that we can actually set up multiple call stacks and they, they can be set up for uh, taking specific calls. So you might have a call stack that will be specific to P P25, you may have one that's only doing calls from, a, from the telephone system, you may have ones that you, you only want to show with the missed calls. You can colour code those so that they're actually showing uh, the right of the right information that you want to see in that particular call stack. You can also answer calls in that call stack and uh, so when you answer them it'll select the circuit that, you are, that it's associated with and allow you to automatically talk out to them. So we also have a partner we're working with at the show which is Kodiak Networks um, and they are a PTT, they provide a PTT over cellular uh, application that is running on the ATT uh, cellular network. Um, we can also patch circuits together. So in this instance here, I can take a P25 circuit and patch it through to PTT over cellular. Set those into a group. I'll just deselect that for the moment. And I will transmit out on Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm transmitting now out, out over the cellular network. So it shows you a bit of the power that we can actually do by com combining those, those two networks at the console system.